you're perfect with it. We've got a beautiful smile. What are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> no. Better not talk about that. Oh. Might embarrass our children. What? Um, it's a song. Oh. What were we doing to talk about? Hungry. Soliciting a, money oh, yeah. for food. <laughs> We're, we're hungry. Let's talk about being <laughs> intermittent fasting. Okay. Or fasting. Let's let's pick a diet and talk about that diet, not all the million okay. diets that are out there. So let's discuss intermittent fasting today. Today. All right. Do you actually? You're well. I would say you're fasting today. I'm fasting. You probably ate like 50 calories worth of goldfish or something before we worked out. Didn't yeah. You? Something like that. Yeah. I'm fasting. We went out last night on a date, which it wasn't the best food. Oh, I was fixing to some, say it wasn't the best day. Wasn't really? the best food. Okay. It's always really? a great day when we go out. <laughs> See how I corrected that? <laughs> really back in. I had chicken wings, ranch, so chicken French wings fries. Lottery. Cheese sticks. Thank you. Linda. We did. We won five bucks on Kino. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're terrible gamblers. That's Fact. why we don't gamble. I don't gamble. I'm I terrible. Don't gamble. But what time was that? 8 30? Um, 8 30. About yeah. 8 30. We finished. Finished up. And today it is 1 o'clock post workout. We just worked out from like 10 till 12 till now. Just left the gym. Completely fasted. That's my every day. That's what I do every day. Um, there's so many ways to intermittent fast, guys. Basically, what it is, just to explain to you briefly what it is, it, it's to put it simply, you skip breakfast and eat your lunch and then you eat till a certain time of day and then you don't eat past that certain point. So, example, you eat from, say your lunch is at noon, you eat from noon and then you don't eat any later than 8 or 9 or 10. You pick that feeding window. That is your feeding window. Um, and then from the time you don't eat till the next day when you eat again is your fasting. That's your fasting period. And you can pick 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, 16. You can, you can do whatever 12 and 12, whatever works for you. And if you're going to try intermittent fasting, I recommend trying it slowly. Just simply... Try skipping breakfast and going a few hours into the day before you actually break your fast and eat, start eating again. Mm -hmm. um, I can't give you all the scientific details. That's not what this channel's about. I'm not going to even attempt to do that. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to tell you how it works, but I'm going to tell you that it does work. And then all the other diets that are out there, the low carb and keto and those different things, you can incorporate those into intermittent fasting as well. Again, that's going to be, that's a whole other video, but just basically, even if you moderately watch what you eat, it will still help you by fasting. Right. And the purpose for you is? For me? Why do you do it? I do it to maintain or actually lose fat. Okay. Um, because uh, just to be honest, it allows for cheating a little bit. Just like last night, it, it's okay. I'm not going to gain any weight or anything from it because I haven't eaten for what? From 8 to 8 to 12 hours, uh, 17 hours I haven't eaten. So whatever extra there was that was stored is gone. That's, my body has used it, especially that, you know, I worked out fasted. And I've used every glycogen store that I possibly have. Now I'm breaking my fast with what I always break it with, 8 ounces of milk. One scoop of MTS protein. She's drinking water, creatine, and a tablespoon of local honey. But Why that's do I do that's it? what I break fast. Why do you do it? I don't know because you don't have anything to eat for breakfast. <laughs> you forgot to take breakfast with you, or? Well, I do it sometimes just because I've never been in the habit of eating breakfast anyway. However, I have talked to multiple people who do the same thing that I do, and if I eat breakfast, I'm hungry all day. And right. I like to eat, so it just prevents me from eating too much. Because I am looking at, at one point, looking at weight loss. Right. Now it's more like, I probably should eat a little more, but I need to watch what I eat because I love junk food. 
there is a reason. Reason? I've been stumbling over my words <laughs> all day. All day. <laughs> there is a reason for what you just said, what that happens. When you eat breakfast, your body's metabolism, that's when it kind of kicks kicks in your body's metabolism. It causes the insulin levels to go up and just kind of kickstart everything. And your body actually burns calories while you're digesting food. Yep. Uh, yep, yep. Personally, like that's why I like to work out fasted because there's nothing, there's no food in my system. My body's not digesting. All the blood flow can be focused towards the muscles. When you're in the gym, Hence the muscle pump that we talk about. Your body directs blood to the injured part of the body. And technically, when you're working out like that, when you're doing repetitions, you're injuring the muscle. You're creating small tears in the muscle, which is why your body's pushing blood there to start the healing process before you even leave the gym. And if I eat breakfast before I work out, I get a better pump. I'm stronger. I feel better. However, there's However, a time frame window right. there that you have to you can't eat and then walk into the gym and no, work out you'll get don't sick. do that. I did that. But you're saying like eat breakfast maybe a couple hours oh, before yeah. you go. That way it's well, digested. It before even work starts. I start at 8. Especially you yeah, your carbs are, your body's done what it needed to do with the carbs. It's re yeah. refueled your, yes. refilled your glycogen stores. So today I'm fasted because I forgot. Right. You just plain forgot. Just forgot to eat. <laughs> <laughs> But there is scientific answers for that. And I'm, you know, if you're watching us, you're not looking for scientific reasoning and answers for all this stuff. But, but what are you doing? Your video, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait I until just you see your, this video. I saw your finger go. He had not been watching. See, I'm watching the road. I'm He's not watching, watching the road. The camera. See? I'm watching the road. I'm a safe driver. Yes. The camera's just rolling. I'm watching That's the, why he's watching driving. Otherwise, he wouldn't be driving freak in that nature I like to drive. I don't trust, I trust you. I don't trust anybody driving. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Mm. Point made. This is so good. What is it? Red it's too good to be healthy. MTS? Red no, it's a hell of a shot of nutrition. Uh, that said nutrition because it's on there. <laughs> Protein. I think there's probably about like 35, chocolate. 35 grams of protein. It's mine. I drink. I need some. Mm. And it absorbs quickly. It's sugar, whey protein. It's great post-workout anyway. Right. Did we simplify intermittent fasting for people? I think, I think if you were going to do intermittent fasting, you think by watching this video they understand it now. Number one, why do you do it? If you want to lose weight, if you don't want to eat all day, if you want yep. to maintain easier than food prepping too. Easier than food prepping. It's like she said, if you eat breakfast, you're going to need to eat two, every two to three hours throughout the day. I mean, I've done it. I've done it for years. But if you're taking food to work, you're going to need to take two, three meals with you, not just one big meal. There's even people that utilize intermittent fasting and only eat one or two meals a day. They're larger meals and they're still meeting their calorie goals. But don't get me wrong, you still have to, your calorie goal is 1800. You still need to stay within your calorie goal. Yeah, no, I need to go over mine. You need a surplus. You're trying to gain muscle, so you actually need a surplus. So, what I'm going to do this winter, I plan to do that very thing. I'm going to throw in probably two eggs and a half a cup of oatmeal, probably an hour or two before we go to the gym. So, I'm going to try and see if I can get this old body to grow a little bit over the winter. <laughs> I'm going to give it some extra calories. I'm going to shorten my fasting window. I'm going to give yeah. some extra calories and um, see what happens. Yeah. Then when spring starts to roll around, I'll start skipping that meal again and my body fat level will go back down. But it does allow for air. Yeah. It's what I, I enjoy about intermittent fasting. I don't have to worry about getting up in the morning and eating breakfast. I don't have to worry about any kind of food prep. So at the basic, like without anything added to it, is skipping a meal. Skipping a meal, skipping breakfast. Or and it kind of whatever works for contradicts us. everything we've been taught as we grew up. You know, breakfast is the most, most important, important meal of the day. day. That's, you know, I, I've, I beg to differ. I do too. I've experimented I've, with it and I've not had any experiment. I've not lost any strength or anything like that. I've only lost fat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since I was a kid, I never really liked breakfast food. And 
if I would eat breakfast, I was hungry all day. If I didn't eat breakfast, I could go till noon, one o'clock, two o'clock. There's been times that I didn't have time to eat when we got back from the gym and I didn't eat till four or five o'clock. Not so healthy because I didn't feel good and I started to get fatigued. So don't overdo it. As with anything, do it in moderation. <laughs> yeah. That's a big part of a lot of people. They, some people are that way. They're either all or none. none. I, I have found a happy medium. There's days when I, I will, I'll call it cheat or whatever, but if I want pizza, I'm going to eat pizza. But for the next three days, I really moderate what I do and make up for it. I mean, we're all human. We love, I mean, you can't, I don't know, everybody's different. I'm just, yeah. I'm mumbling. Anyway. But our bodies are designed to go long periods without food. It's, you're not going to lose a bunch of muscle or whatever it is that these people say. Look at, look, there's people out there that Mike Rasheed's doing it. He eats one meal a day. This dude's like 200 pounds of solid Big. muscle. Yeah. I mean, he's Probably doing it. He's lost a little bit of muscle over it, but his body requires a great deal of calories to maintain all that muscle. The Hodge twins do it. They're, and that's just to name a couple of the more popular YouTubers out there. This video looks like crap because of the sun. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh well. Quality, quality of the set we've set yep. before. Quality. But then lost the attention yep. of the audience. Isn't... You're right. All right. Later. Later. Anyways. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Peace. Peace in the Middle East. It's my turn. My turn.